Time to kick off your heels, grab a handful of nuts and treat yourself to bubbles and gossip. From Club Eagle Amsterdam, this is Nikki Today Tonight. Hello darlings, this is the second episode of Nikki Today Tonight. I'm so glad that we're back. We've got some great guests for us uh, for us today. And um, hello Dirk, how are you? Hello, I'm, I'm great. How, how was your week? It was qu- quite okay actually, yeah. Quite a- Quite a busy week, but it was okay, yes. Yeah, it's a, it's, 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 it's a lovely week, and we've got some uh, great things coming up, because in the Netherlands, because we are in Amsterdam right now, it's a very special weekend, because St. Nicholas is going to arrive. Oh, my God. How is he going to arrive this? How is he going to arrive? With a boat this year? I think he's going... I, I have no idea. Actually, I don't believe in St. Saint, Saint Nicholas anymore. Oh, you don't? No, no. Well, I... I, I, just, an old, I it's just an old man in a dress. But well, that's true. Yeah, like me, a cock and a frock. Cock and a frock. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, oh, there's also a new Kylie album out today, um, Disco Guest List. Uh, have you heard the songs yet? No. She does a great duet with um, Ollie from Years oh, and yeah. Years. Oh, yeah, I heard that one. Yeah, that's that, good. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was, was a good, good. that's yeah, a great song. Very, very good. But we've got some great guests I told you about. Um, and we've got some fun games at the end, of course. So I'm so happy to announce these guests. Let's look at who is going to be our guest tonight. In this week's Nikki Today Tonight, Ferry oh my, he's hot. chats about his music and life. Bart tells us why his musical is the one. And Rickard wows us with some Dutch culture. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that exciting? Oh, I'm so happy that, I'm so proud that he can be my, one of my guests tonight. Here is Ferry Dudens. Hello, Ferry. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, you want to kiss me? Whoa. Sit down. Do you want to kiss? Oh, do you want to kiss as well? Oh, my Why goodness. Not? <laughs> a little Jimmy's bit of love, cold. right? That, that wasn't just a kiss, darling. I saw where that <laughs> hand went. Snob, Let's yeah. start with the kiss, though. Okay, sweetheart. Cheers. Cheers. How are you? I'm doing pretty fine, I have to say, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Had so, a good, had how a was your week? Weekend. Well, I had a good weekend. I had a good week. Uh, well, there was like uh, ADE in Amsterdam, so a couple of nice parties. Not partying too hard, but... Saw some nice friends, a good time, some nice dinner, some wine. Can't Great. Complain. We've got some more guests coming up. Right now, we've got a very important director. He is Bart Dabla! <laughs> Hello, sweetheart! Hi! Hi, baby! Hi, beautiful. How are you? Oh. The ring. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> I've got some champs for Perfect. you, but yeah, oh, you, you want some bubbles too, sweetheart? Thank you. Frock again. So. <laughs> cheers. 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 Toast, cheers. 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 How are you? How was your week? Oh, my week's been incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, it was opening night is coming up shortly. Yeah. Shortly yeah. coming up. We have so many things going on. I just left here working with people flying in the air, and I'm going back to watch people fighting each other. Oh, so that is so cool, fighting yeah. each other. Yes. I love a good fight. <laughs> what do they wear? Well, they, you know, the show is based in Egypt, so we have very We're little. We're going to talk about there that we go. Later. Little, yeah. le- <laughs> Less clothes, less clothes, that's better. And then my last guest tonight, darlings, is Rickert van Huysteden. Oh, she's got more sparkles than me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello. Go sit Hello. down. Hey. You want some bubbles? Oh, yeah. Always. Okay, baby. Okay. So, so, cheers. 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 It's Friday yeah. night. This is a good start, right? Yeah, Woohoo! Absolutely. So, yes. Cheers. So, Rickert, how are you? I'm what? happy. I'm happy to be here. What have you been doing the last couple of weeks? Well, we've been very busy touring with the show. Yeah, we're going to talk about that later. I want to hear all about it. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, it's great. Um, I heard that um, you have so many different other people from all over. Yeah, oh, and I took my... some with me also. Oh, you also took? Oh, great. So, we're going to talk about that later. 
We're going to go back to you, Farrah. Oh, well. <laughs> so, sweetheart. Yeah. So, you're a very well-known actor for the people in uh, Spain. Maybe you don't know, but he's a very well-known actor. He's a singer. He's a TV host. You did that as well. Yeah. Uh, you, um, uh, you actually started off being a, a living statue, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. When I was like 12, I started like, I like, hey, mom, I can be a living statue. And then, yeah. I won the, like the, the Dutch champion in, like in 2016. I thought. Did you, yeah. Really? Did you want a Dutch championship as a living statue? Yeah, yeah, I could stand like living stage for hours. It's good because I'm really. Uh, oh, so we yeah, can so rent you in as a, one of those toy boys, and you can stand. Of course, up. if you want to. Oh, okay, well. okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a conversation. Oh, you can scare people. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, that can be. Yeah, of course. Why not? Oh, that's so much fun. So, you are a big deal in in the Netherlands. Let's let's face it. You are. I mean, you you went on to do um, a soap opera for years. Yeah. Um, what was that like? How was that like? Well, I was like 18 when I came into the show. Uh, Good Times, Bad Times was the name. And uh, Daily Opera, every day, prime time. How many people watched? Uh, I think about 2 million, right? 2 million every day. Wow. And, uh, it's, it's still like a top 10 every night. And um, But yeah, like uh, one of them, because I had like the first gay marriage and the first gay kiss, and it was like 3.5 million people watched it over here. 3.5? Three three yeah, just watching incredible. you kiss a guy? Yeah, like, you had like the, the, um, the news, and then you had like Rui Tide, so we're always like, we're in the top three. Oh, so wow. yeah, I'm pretty proud of that, yeah. So, it's very cool. Yeah, really yeah, nice. It was, was an amazing time. Um, you, you, you stopped doing the, the soap, and yeah. now uh, you are focusing on sauce. On music, absolutely, yeah. Well, because uh, I'm a singer as well, yeah. And uh, before the whole show, when I was like 15, I, I was like in a cover band, so I was doing like whole Friesland because I'm from the north of Holland. Oh, well, you're a Friesian. I'm oh, a Friesian. Friesian like mine, like me. Do you yeah, both speak like Friesian? Yes. Do you both speak Friesian? Well, we already talked a little bit yeah. Friesian. So, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm a bit Fries, yeah. Yeah, I can't well bit. Yeah, yeah. No, Didn't but, understand but, nobody word. understands <laughs> anything like about this whole fucking word. But no, no. So I did, so I did like a lot of music, and um, and because I'm out of the show right now, um, yeah, I just brought my. Um, my last number, I just dropped it, like I think, like one and a half months ago. Okay. I got a bit of your last number here. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to check it out? We're going Let's to check, check out a couple out. of seconds yep. of your new single. You can also, you know, download it from Spotify, iTunes, whatever. Yeah. Let's watch. Let's watch. Yeah. So that was great. Thank I mean, so, 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 so wonderful. But um, what is it about? The song is called... Um, Nobody Like You. Yeah, No One Like You. Yeah. No One Like You. Yeah, yeah it's just uh, that uh, I think we're living in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a time right now that somebody, uh, people, um, how do you say that in English? Don't want, don't want to express their feelings sometimes. So I think it's really important that if you like somebody, just say it. Don't don't play a game. Like I was in that situation as well to play a game. Like I'm not texting, well texting, offline, online. You know the whole fucking thing when you're falling in love with somebody. And uh, it's more that if you yeah, well if you're feeling for somebody, just express it. That's that's the most important thing. And just. Follow your feelings, and, and you're also quite specifically uh, out with your music. I mean, you also you sing about a guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm singing about a guy. Well, I was dating a guy for that moment, but it didn't last for that long because he didn't was out of the closet and. So <laughs> when, when you came out of the closet, I mean, that was years ago. Yeah. You were in the in in the in the soap opera yeah. that you were, that was a height of your career. Yeah. What was it like to actually have to come out publicly when you're so famous? Uh, well, for me, it wasn't a big deal, I have to say, but because I was really pretty chill with it. And I didn't make, well, the press made a thing about it. Like, at first I said, like, I was bisexual. And then at one moment I had, like, a boyfriend and it was, like, everywhere. And um, so, but yeah, nobody, nobody did, like... Mm, how do you say that? Yeah. But the press it's likes okay. to make a big thing out of a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things, yeah. Like, like um, news, baby. Uh, <laughs> you, you got a little bit of international fame because you started doing something else during COVID. Yeah, true, true, true. 
Well, everybody want to know what it is. Yes. Uh, yeah, very yeah, curious. Yeah. So excited. <laughs> no, well, well, because I was out of the... Uh, well, I know that I was going out of the show. And uh, at one moment, while well, I was not every talk show here in Holland, uh, I didn't have, like, any perspective. I was a little bit in kind of a panic. So that's why I started an uh, OnlyFans account. And I didn't save that much money, though. But because of Corona, the whole shebang and the whole... Fo- well, the whole fucked up thing about COVID... Uh, fucked me up a little bit, so I started on OnlyFans and just to... Um, well, I have like those two talking monkeys on my shoulder, like the devil monkey and the good monkey, like, hey, just do it and, and, and try something else and, and be new or whatever. And uh, and the other monkey's like, no, don't do it. And uh, because you already know like what the... What the what the thing will gonna be like? It, it, it's gonna come out and stuff like it that. It came out and it became a huge scandal. What do you think of the, that huge scandal thing that everyone was reacting like that? Well, it, why? Well, in the beginning, it was like well, it came out like in the first week of January this year, and um, well, it was it hurt a little bit, I have to say. So at one moment, you have to come out as um, a well-known person or here in Holland to do your story or whatever. So I just to be like on a talk show and. Um, Everybody was really um, humble, how do you say that? Like, uh, like everybody understand it, like, yeah, in that kind of position. It wasn't like my first choice that I wanted to do like an OnlyFans account. Yeah, but let's face it. But I was like, fuck, what do I have to do? I don't want to be like this to the government, you know? And, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed of this over here. No, you're not ashamed of your body. Be. I'm not ashamed of, well, I'm working really hard for it. It's not that I I'm know. Like, I, I have seen some covers of you that I was like, okay, <laughs> no, well, Ferry, please. what's your number? Yeah. <laughs> no, so I put like an, another name, like Ferry known to Diego on OnlyFans yeah. to separate those two worlds a little bit because I have like a TV career over here as well. And, and I think like we're living in 2021, mm-hmm. so. Uh, I know. I yeah. Know. And, yeah. And even the Dutch people are the most uh, 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 Pornhub viewers, watchers of the whole fucking world. I know. Yeah. And look what it did to Pamela Anderson's career. Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> now you're also going to be big everywhere. <laughs> well, let's and hope so. darlings, he is big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm getting shy right now. I'm getting shy. No, but, but it's just like maybe it's just like temporary. If it, if it stops like in two, three, four months, then then. Then I did that. Like, well, then I can say like in ten years, like, well, I did like that for like one and a half year, and then, well, then I tried everything. Yeah. So. And yeah. what's next? What are you gonna do now after? Well, uh, there are coming like a couple of uh, theater shows that I'm gonna do. Um, three next year, um, and I had a really good meeting last week. That, but I cannot say anything about. No, it. No, don't, don't, don't say but anything. But it's gonna be then. amazing, and you will hear about it. Everybody. But you're also gonna it. do a TV show again. Yeah. Ranking yeah. the stars. You're gonna oh, ranking the stars. Yeah. Will you're be gonna in. do that. Yeah. And a new one, but that will be like next year on television. And, and no more music coming up. Uh, more music coming up. Yeah, I'm going into the studio. Busy, I'm going busy, to the busy. Next month, and uh, just to try a little bit, like demoing, like what kind of. Flavor? Do I want a little bit spice it up or whatever? So let's see what the what the future will bring. Well, yeah. Talking about exciting. spice, yeah, that's it's nice. Yeah, yeah thanks. The spice and nice from Vegas. From Vegas. Hello, Bart Daffler. You're a, you're an, you're the artistic director of a new spectacular that's going to open up in Alsmeer. In Alsmeer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So um. It's not just a normal, it's, it's a musical, but it's not just a normal musical. What, what, what is it? Exactly. What it's an experience. I call it an attraction. So it's the first LED box theater. So you're completely surrounded by screens as well. So we can take you on a journey. But the best was when they interviewed me for this position, they said, oh, by the way, you don't have any fly space or wing space. You just have a box. So I said, let's build the entire experience above the audience. So everything happens over your head so, and all around you. And we have 800 seats in all smear. That's it. And not one seat is safe. We have free runners and stunt team and dancers and you name it are in the show. And it's very oh interactive. Oh, wow. From the second you walk in the building, it doesn't start just from the theater. It's the entire time. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 So yeah. how does this differ from, from a Broadway show? Do you have, have you done these kind of things on Broadway yet? I have. Not on Broadway yet. But my biggest thing is I always like to go in and flip a show. I don't like to just go see a show. I want a show to be an experience because that's what I want to create. And so I like stuff to be really fun and exciting. And this is something that I think people who don't like musicals are going to love the musical because it's an experience for everybody. Okay, great. Yeah. 
We got a little clip of one of the songs from the show. Let's watch. You're from the States, you've yes. done a lot of things in the States as well. Yes. How does um, musical theatre uh, differ from uh, in, the, in, in Europe from uh, the States? Do I will say in Europe what I love, the audiences are so welcoming to try something new. Like they're so open to all my productions. Any productions I've done over here, they're just, they're so exciting. And they're, yeah, let's try it, let's see it. Whereas in the States, sometimes it's a little bit harder because America can be very much, sometimes very stringent with certain mm -hmm. things, uh, which I respect as well. But I just, up in here, it's a little crazy. So I like people to come into my world. <laughs> so you actually work with a lot of big names. Yes. I mean, uh, you did uh, shows for, I, I, I think, Disney and Warner Bros. Yeah, and, Disney and, Universal, and Harry Universal, Potter, yeah. done that, Harry done a lot of Sony. Harry Potter. Wow. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff with Sony music artists, which cool. I used to love. Nice. Yeah, nice. Love yeah. It. And, and who was the biggest diva? Elmo or Jessica Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> Elmo, working with children. It's really hard, I will say, because uh, Jessica is lovely. Jessica is one of the sweetest girls in the world, and that voice is undeniable. What is your favorite genre to do? My favorite genre to do? Wow, that's a great question. Ah, oh, a genre of musical theater? Mm -hmm. I would say anything that's going to take the audience out of their comfort zone. I think I like to push the boundaries, and that's my biggest thing, as I like to push the boundaries in a completely different way. Well, speaking about the show, yeah. One the Musical, mm -hmm. what I saw is that the, the music is very um, epic, and but it, it, it is the same time, it's very, you know, with all those jumpers and, 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 and runners and mm -hmm. everything, that's pretty modern, but it's, it's in Egyptian times. How... Does that work? Why did you come up with the Egyptian uh, theme? Well, they sent me the script, and I love the script. And when I went into the interview, we talked about bringing in like this Katy Perry, Dark Horse vibe. We wanted to go down that direction. So I worked with my costume designer. I said, what would Egypt be, say, a thousand years down the road? What would it look like? And that's what we all ran with. So we ran with, it's not that it's spacey, it just has a different edge to it. So, so it's very this? fashion forward, the music is very forward, and was very forward thinking. And so what, what is the story about? What, the story what? is about Amon Amira, yeah. a princess, and she falls in love with a carter, who is a worker, building a pyramid for the king, which is her father. And they fall in love, which we all love a love story, <laughs> well, right? Absolutely. And then I can't, let, I can't let you know the twist at the end, but there's a good twist at the end. So where can we see this show? At Studio Alsmere, yeah. here in Amsterdam. And we are premiering on, se on September. We are premiering November 28th. Oh, that's in a couple of weeks. Uh, so how are the Very rehearsals excited. going? Rehearsals are going great. You know, I interview anybody that works for me all the way down and, and everyone from the crew. So we're a family. I don't deal with divas at all. And no one that's a diva will work for me. And I've had a lot of divas that will remain nameless that will not work for me. Have the, have the Dutch performance that, surprised that leaves, you? That leaves you out, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but uh, have uh, the Dutch performance surprised you? The, you know what? They surprised me because they let me push them. I push them so fast and so hard, and they love it. They just eat it up. And we have the best time together. We're a family. Yeah. As you know, you've been on sets and stuff. We're a big family. We have a great time. If people want to try something, I say, try it. I'm not that director who's yelling at you to do it a certain way. I don't believe in that. I say, let's, we're all artists. Let's work together to create the best experience possible. Wow. And how long is it, how long has it gone run? Uh, as of right now, two years. Wow, two years. Two wow. Years wow. wow. So you have to move, like, you move over to the Netherlands, right? I, you would think. Um, so no, I'll be back in Vegas after we get open. Oh, okay. What are you going to do in Vegas? Back in Vegas, I have another show that I'll be opening down next year, 2022, down on the Strip. Oh, so okay. very what excited. Kind of uh, we're looking for an ice show right now. Okay. So I worked with Holiday and Ice for two years, and now I'm working with another ice company out of America. To wow. put an ice show, an ice show in Vegas. Yes. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can I can ice skate pretty well, so you can always. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready. I know they would love you. So there we go. <laughs> that's amazing. But 800 people can go to the show here in Holland. 800 people, and that's it. So it's wow, a small it's, venue. Well, but yeah. I think that's for right now. Like people are waiting for this. I think like a new experience and yeah. to I have something else. And like I love musical, mm -hmm. but to have, like the whole experience with lightning and 
We're going to see it, darling. We're going to go. We're going to go. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Sorry, yeah. So we're going to buy tickets. We're all going to watch that show. But um, Rickert is also here. Hello, Rickert. Yay. Hello, sweetie. So um, you're an actor. You're a singer. You're a director and a poet. What else? A human being, bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but but I make shows and I direct them myself, and I also do like the business part of it. So you've yeah. been touring with um, your um, show Boys Won't Be Boys. Why did you make that show? Because I was lonely, actually. <laughs> yeah, because so I'm wearing a dress, but I'm not wearing it for the show, actually. I also wear it in the street sometimes, or when I go to the supermarket. I have seen you on the bike in the dress. Really? Did you see it? I saw you, yeah. Oh, that's nice. One of those uh, stripey things that you were on, and you were... Mm, yeah. How do you bike with that, though? Yeah, I try, and I have to pull it down all the time and stuff. But I, still, I also wear the heels in the bike. Yeah. So the show is critically acclaimed. Um, you just finished up uh, touring. Um, what was that like? Well, but maybe I have to explain why I was lonely first. Because, oh yeah, true. Yeah, because uh, uh, so I'm wearing this dress in the streets and stuff, and people actually re respond quite well. I, I I don't really come across very bad things, or maybe I don't. I wear these like <laughs> blinders, uh, blinders, blinders yeah, yeah, see, a bit. Um, but, but what people tend to say, also people who are close to me, is like, okay, uh, I accept what you do, but for me, it's too much. Like, I'm just a normal person and you are a little bit crazy. And that gives a very lonely feeling because if I'm crazy, I don't want to be crazy. I don't want to be different, you know? Uh, so I but try aren't to... aren't we all different? Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe, course, yeah. So that's what I try to find out. Like maybe like the books for men, because it's about masculinity, the show, maybe like what we expect of men is too rigid for every man. And we can talk about it, about masculinity and about toxic masculinity norms also. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how the show was uh, created. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there's a lot of different men in the show that tell very different stories about what it's like to be a man these days. Is, is it, sorry, sorry that I interrupted. Is it because you had like experience in the past, uh, like you just outdoor or in the public that people, that you saw like the big difference? How people can look, or men can look to different men? Yeah, I... it's quite scary, I guess. Like mm -hmm. men in between men, also in the gay scene, I guess, it's, it can be very harsh and very like femininity uh, is a mask, bad thing. It's, all, like that, yeah. it's like mm -hmm. a curse word to say you're feminine almost. Um, and I feel like it shouldn't be. <laughs> and, uh, and we should be free to express ourselves. But there's also a lot of straight men in the show uh, that feel like I'm a dad. How, how can I be a, a good dad? Yeah. Uh, or maybe I'm asexual or uh, uh, so it could be different. You things. have different actors in different cities, right? Yeah, that's true, yeah. So we try to create a network through the whole country uh, because it's weird when we go with the tour bus to Enschede and then there's a lot of people in the audience and I feel like they also have a story about this. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to make a new show in Enschede and then take these people with us on tour so we have like a network of all these different stories from the whole country. Well, and maybe one day from the whole world. Maybe we can play in Vegas one day. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You're like the only person I know. That oh, no, I'll give you dancers and all of it. So poor Bart is going home with so many numbers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. So, but you also appeared on a, uh, an episode of a, a famous Dutch TV show true. called The Slims to Mints. Yeah. And that had a lot of reactions. Yeah, that's oh. true. There it were, was like trending topic on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to retru uh, but there were also a lot of negative uh, reactions as well how do you cope with that yeah it's very hard so I thought I'll just stop and I'll live in in a, in a wooden house somewhere <laughs> in the forest uh, but I also really like the like the chance to tell this story and to to get a stage mm -hmm. and also the internet is like not everybody responding mm -hmm. so what happened was first there was a lot of negative comments but then uh, there was a lot of positive comments uh, in the follow-up of people who were very touched by the negative 
by the negativity. Um, so it was also quite touching how people were so supportive and but it's weird because I didn't really expect it I mean I'm just wearing a dress it's just a piece of fabric you know yeah. and then people just go crazy about it I heard some people were getting crazy because you were wearing a dress on a TV show on TV yeah and it was quite short just like today yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so judgmental lately yeah. Yeah. everything yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. No, but I what think is your advice for, for um, somebody who's watching and experienced the same thing with the trolling and everything I think like create a safe space for yourself you don't have to be in the outside world all the time you have to like enrich your own world with nice people find the spaces you want to go mm -hmm. and then from there it's much easier to be in the rest of the world mm -hmm. true 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 yep so um you were actually an apprentice of somebody very famous Herman von Fein. what was that like it was really nice I was like 21 and I I was in his tour And we, we, we were touring through the whole of Europe, like German-speaking German and Dutch-speaking Europe. Um, and it was just really nice that he uh, allowed me the chance to be with him on stage because I, I, I couldn't really, I mean, I hadn't been on a stage before. Uh, so it gave me a lot of experience and a lot of, like, Inspiration. believe in myself. Yeah. yeah. You do love Dutch culture. And you promised you were going to do something wonderful tonight. You're going to sing a song by one of the Dutch greats. Uh, you want to go and get yourself ready to sing? Yes, please. Yeah. Can't Thank wait. you. You can go. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, and everything in between, here is Rikert van Huisteder. Hey, hey! So this is a Dutch song from 1976, but it's still relevant, unfortunately. Al die honderdduizend liedjes waar je mee wordt overspoeld. Songs en hits en melodietjes die zijn nooit voor ons bedoeld. Elke slager, ieder wijsje, altijd jongen, altijd meisje. I love you en ik hou van jou, altijd man, altijd vrouw. Ieder vers en elke aria, Romeo en Julia. Mm -hmm. Want zo is het toch, mijn jongen. Nooit is er een lied gezongen over de verboden kus van Romeo en Julius. Want daar zijn we nog niet aan toe. Taboe, taboe. Geen aria's, nooit aria's voor de paria's. Veeg ons maar weg, wrijf ons maar uit. Wij zijn een vlek op het schone tafellaken van de nette erotiek. Voor ons geen achtergrondmuziek, maar de stilte en de schaduw van het portiek. Liedjes klinken om ons heen, zo gewoon en zo algemeen. Als confectie van CNA, altijd Romeo, altijd Julia. Daar is de liefde voor bedoeld, voor Romeo en Julia. En dit is wat je denkt en voelt, sorry dat ik besta. Maar over veertig jaar, wie weet, staan er liedjes in de hit parade. Niet alleen maar over hij en zij. Maar ook over zij en zij, liedjes over hem en hem. Zonder aarzeling of rem, dan speelt elke muzikus, dan zingt iedere romanticus. Heel gewoon, zo is het dus, Romeo en Julius. Dat ik besta. That was wonderful. Yeah. 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 Nice. 
sweetie. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was it. beautiful. Yeah. For the Dutch, for the people who don't speak Dutch, Google. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right? It's one of the greats. So wonderful. Um, who, who was? Who were your um, accompaniments? Uh, Lito Mapiaya and Delaney Nelom. They were great. <laughs> Applause for them. Yep. So we're nearly at the end of the show, but we're going to do something fun because it's Friday night. You want to do something fun, right? Of Absolutely. So I thought that we're going to play the game of famous fairies. Oh, okay, ready. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> well, we have known him for so many years and so many different kind of, uh, uh, well, whatever you whatever were. Whatever you wanted yeah. to yeah, call so, it, yeah. So I have these envelopes and you're going to be playing together. You're going to be, you're going to get one of those envelopes. You're going to open the envelope, but you're not going to, you're going to see me and you're going to show everyone here who you are. And I have to guess, yeah. right? No, oh. no, they have to guess who they are. Oh, okay. And you, uh, you have to ask him questions. So let's go, uh, let's shake the cards. Rickard, oh, you want to <laughs> <go>. grab <laughs> one? Okay, grab one, grab one, grab one. Okay, and Bart, yep. you grab one. There we go. So, yep. Rickard, show us who you are. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. show the camera at home, show everyone at home. Okay, put it back in the envelope, put it back or hold it, whatever you want to do. So, right. show us who you are. Okay. Bart. Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, the laugh just totally. <laughs> So, Rickard, you can start. Ask the questions. Go. Okay, do I do I have a live audience? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, do I wear clothes? Yes. Yes. Do I wear shirts? Yeah. Yes. Okay, do I uh do <laughs> it's hard. Uh, do I sing? Oh, really? yeah. Yes. <gasps> wow. Whoa. Do I sing in musicals? Yes. yes. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now for, for this one. Am yeah. I the mu music the 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 singer fairy? The no. 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 <laughs> Mark, you're, ask, you're allowed to ask questions now. All right. Um, about myself. Okay. Am I a famous singer? No. Well, you, well, you are a fairy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fairy, yeah. You're a fairy. I'm a fairy. It's so stupid to talk about so me. <laughs> <laughs> you are a fairy, but which fairy are you? It's fairy, exactly. Am I from Holland? Well, you are still the same fairy. Yeah, I'm yeah. still the same fairy. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're just me, but you're okay. just like... A, a different uh, personification of fairy. so hard. This is hard yeah, for me all of a sudden. So, okay. again, I did, a question... I didn't, I didn't make up with the, this... this, uh, 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 this ask story. the question, darling. Ask the question. <laughs> okay. Um, am I a dancer? No. No. You're, you're no, well, no, in this case you are not no, the, the dancing case, no. fairy. No, not, not the, the dancing, dancing fairy. fairy. No. Continue. Gosh. Okay, so I sing, I, I'm wearing clothes, which is <laughs> remarkable. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like well, I'm, gonna, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm going to give you a little tip. A little I mean, tip. you have to wear clothes because your audience is a bit PG. <gasps> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I sing for children. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. For young people. Yeah. Yeah. So. In schools. Yeah, who could, could be, be in schools? Yeah. So I'm a singing teacher. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've got you've got a hint for me. Yeah. Um, the hint is that you um, know how to walk straight. I know how to walk straight. All right. So, am I married to a female? No. 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 You're still fairy. You still don't. You're still fairy. I'm still doesn't doesn't get it. See, I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. I'm nervous now. God. <laughs> so now, Rickard. Okay. Your okay. Turn. So, so uh, in. So, a child, do you want yeah. to give a hint? Children's um, song. Uh, you could be like you, you do. You for teenagers, you're like pretty big. Oh. Oh, like teenage oh. superstar. <gasps> yeah. Teen Teen Idol! There you There's go! Teen yeah. Idol! Oh, you're so yeah. young! So, yeah! I wanted to make Good you job. a little bit easier. So, so, you can <laughs> yeah. grab another one, though. Um, are we um, going to hear them all? Grab, grab this oh, one. God. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> are you gonna, you gonna ask the question? Um, oh, God, it? I'm so worried that I'm gonna ask the wrong question. Okay, am I a... Um, 
I am not from Holland. Yes, you are. I am from you, Holland. You yeah, I'm, a fairy, I'm a fairy from Holland. Yeah, yeah, just me. Just, uh, it's just something that I did. He like really doesn't understand. understand. I don't. I'm that. getting confused. Well, I'm open it up. All right. Then you know see. you get a point. He's got a point. Got I'm it. You're, you're the catwalk fairy. Got it. Okay. Uh, see, yeah, now I'm with you. I thought you really wanted to be nailing a person. All right. John, who is for the second points? I still feel Oh, wow. Show me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh yeah. Now you're talking got it. Got it. I'm okay, with you. Okay. Okay. You ask a question for another point. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing clothes. No. <laughs> I'm wearing no clothes at all. No. Um, sometimes. Sometimes you, <laughs> you have to tease a little bit. Sometimes, right? Yeah. You have to tease yeah, a lot. Yeah. Okay. I make s some money, but not so much. <laughs> Is that what you mean? <laughs> you could make good money out of it if you want I to. I could yeah. make money out of it. Yeah. yeah? Okay, yeah, it's an online platform that... Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and... Uh, you're close, you're close. <laughs> it's, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it very sexy? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah it's very yeah. sexy. Yeah. So yeah. I'm yeah. The, the sex god porn star fairy. <laughs> <laughs> no, darling, you're the erotic model fairy, Sean, but that was close enough. Yeah, 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 erotic yeah, yeah, yeah. model. Yeah. yeah. Now you go. You can ask. You can try to keep, catch up. I am. Right. I mean, I, oh, but can I take Nikki, this you home? You gotta give me some faith. I either. <laughs> try to catch up. I still feel a little bit weird about this game, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Am I a fairy on a go-go box? Would you be in a go-go box? Well, you are. You. Mm -hmm. No, 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 yeah, you got 10 seconds left, darling. All right, 10 seconds answer. left. All right, am I a singer? No. No. No, yeah, well. Am I into fashion? No. No. Do you know what? You're just gay fairy. That's it. <laughs> I'm just a gay fairy. Yeah. There we go. The gay fairy. Got You're it. a gay fairy. Okay, yeah. that's oh, it. So we got a winner. Rickard has won. Yay! So I'm going to get the prize for you. A subscription <laughs> to fairies. No, you're oh, going to yeah. get a signed autograph of my album. Oh, yeah. fine. oh it's better. Okay. <laughs> Thank better. you so much. Oh, you know what? Give them all finals. <laughs> and you get a bottle of champagne. Here. Mm -hmm. Thank a bottle you. of champagne. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm shaking so. it. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Thank you for being my guest tonight. Absolutely. Um, thank you, Ferry. Thank you. A big applause for Ferry. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. There we go. A big applause for Bart. Yay, thank you. And a big applause for Richard and his pianist and bassist. Yeah. And thank you for watching the second episode of Nikki Today Tonight. We'll be back next week. Same time, same channel. And now from the Eagle Amsterdam and also from Dirk. Lots of love to you at home. And we'll see you next week with the wonderful guests, including Wouter Hamel. And for now, sweeties, good night. The sun comes up coffee cup I think about you I want you so it's like I'm losing my mind the morning ends I think about you we talk to friends and think about you and it's like I'm losing my mind All afternoon doing every little chore The thought of you stays bright Sometimes I stand in the middle of the floor Not going left, not going right being kind Or am I 
losing.